Hi, I'm Joy. Today is Friday, December 23rd, so a very Merry Christmas to you all. Typically, I don't do videos during the holiday season just because I'm busy, you're busy, nobody's watching the videos. But last night, I received the Tesla holiday update for 2022. While there are a lot of new additions and features added in this update along with some UI changes, I wanted to take this car out on my normal FSD beta test route and see how this car and this update is handling that tricky street. And as usual, I am making a disclaimer in this video that this is an edge case and an outlier that I've been testing since October 2021, since I got admitted into the FSD beta testing program. So if there are things that are kind of out of normal or not functioning right, Keep in mind that this is an edge case and this is my test route to see the progression of FSD beta technology. And if you are curious on how far FSD beta has come along, please check out the playlist of me driving the car on the tricky street and you can see how much this technology has grown. So without further ado, let's get on the road. All right, we are on our way to my test route. And while we're getting there, I want to mention that there are two changes or updates in the holiday update that I love. The first is the bringing back of the carts down here. So if you're new to owning a Tesla, you may not know that back in like 2018, at least 2018 when I picked up my car, until maybe 2020 or even just 2019, they had this trip card down here where you can glance very quickly and get information on your current trip and um, the odometer information and uh, driving efficiency. They changed the UI last year or the year before and hit it. So I'm glad that they brought this back. So you can swipe it. Now music controls here as well. Uh, trip cards and then also the tire pressure so love this and then the second one that I really love that they finally added is Apple music integration so I am an Apple user and um, before I had to sign up with Spotify to get better music streaming experience because the um, the included streaming service is okay, but after a while, the songs just kept repeating and repeating. Um, so I had to pay extra and sign up with Spotify when they brought Spotify integration in a few years ago. So I am glad they now have Apple Music integration, thanks to Tesla Raj, who have been pushing for it. So I'm gonna go and cancel my Spotify subscription after this drive and um, so now we are going to enter in the neighborhood that I have my test route on and as I mentioned in the previous drives during the intro and the disclaimer FSD beta has been performing 80 to 90 percent perfectly in the last um, 14 months that I've been using it. And as of last drive, I noticed that it is performing like in the 90 percentile on this drive. So I am really, really excited to witness the growth and progression of this technology since October 2021. If you're watching my videos for the first time, this is my test route because it's on really narrow residential area with mini roundabouts that are 
not indicated on the actual navigation map for some odd reason. So um, the first time that I experienced this route with Brendan, one of the OG beta testers, he was in town, so I took him out on this drive. It was a really, really scary <laughs> or exciting, I should say, because the car, um, the technology wasn't there a year ago. So now we have some of these little half speed bumps. Um, it's recognizing it some yeah this one it did but uh, there are full speed bumps in my condo community when I was driving out that for some odd reason it did not detect so we'll see how this version does And then um, up ahead on this route, there is a full hump instead of a, like a speed bump. That's what it says. It says hump on the road. Um, it did not detect well in previous drives. So we'll see what happens on this drive. So far, so good. It's slowing down a bit because it's recognizing a pedestrian crossing, I think, with a dog. Um, and now it's slowing down a little bit because that one car was actually crossing the lane a little bit. So here comes the speed bump and yeah, I didn't really recognize it. Um, so hopefully Tesla will fix that. And also one thing is in the last um, update, I mentioned that the camera feedback icon is gone even though it was in the release notes so it turned out that they took it out as of last release because it was a wide release to fsd um, subscribers and those who purchased it oh first one great it worked great um so now the only way to send feedback to tesla with abnormalities is by disengagement. So now this one, I'm not sure why it's slow all the way down, um, even though it didn't have to. Um, but it went around it perfectly. It just slowly and very cautiously. And this one did fine. And then this route on this way, um, there's no way for me to select a route that will go through this entire street um, and, um, and test that very last one. I will always have to turn right um, in order for navigation to give me that option to get on this route. So I'm not able to test that on this way, but I'm going to turn back around and we'll test it all the way out going back okay now we're gonna go down this street straight through well not straight through there are uh, roundabouts but um, I reduced the speed to 25 miles per hour and ironically the destination is Apple music <laughs> so I mentioned that uh, now the car has Apple Music integration and we're going to navigate over to Apple Music Campus here in LA. And there's a, the semi, so it slowed down just a bit, just being cautious. And um, here's the first roundabout that is not marked on the map and it did fine. And a lot of times the car will go through some of these very slowly. Um, it's because it's being very cautious. So safety is the number one priority with Tesla and any car makers actually. So um, yeah, you just have to um, learn to not want to rush and have patience. So here's the roundabout and it went around perfectly and the car 
that's manually driving in front of me actually was going around it about the same speed. So this one is not indicated on the map, but um, it worked out fine and did that maneuver perfectly. And I just realized that for some odd reason on the way there, um, it recognized the roundabouts on the map, but not on the way back. And now it's doing this creeping forward thing, even though there are no cars at the intersection. So um, that's another annoying thing. Unfortunately, that Tessa has not corrected yet. So here comes two super small ones, really narrow street, but little roundabouts not indicated on the map and um, it did fine. So good job. Very nice. And then finally, this stop sign is also does that um, auto creeping thing, even though there are no cars that would be coming my way. And um, I just have to do the acceleration. So I hope Tesla can fix some of these um, auto creeping thing um, at these intersections. So it doesn't need to do the creeping all the time. And that um, when the intersection is clear, just go. So it's more human like. Wow, that was a really great drive. I am feeling like I probably don't need to do these tests anymore with new FSD beta updates because I would say that it is now performing at the 90% range with FSD beta. And also with the wider release of FSD, there are more user data and feedbacks being sent back to the team and it is training the system faster and faster. So hopefully RoboTaxi won't be too far away, but I am just so impressed that in the last two years, how far along FSD technology, especially city street driving has come along. And I cannot wait for the single stack version 11 to come out where the FSD beta, which is a city self-driving version, will be merged with the highway driving stack so that it's going to be uniform and it's going to keep getting better and better and better. Thank you so much for coming along on this drive with me. Again, have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I'll see you in 2023.